And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And today's starter, Marco Gonzalez. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, bro, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look off, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. The pitch. That one the other way. McCutcheon takes the grab, run away. Here's the Giants lineup, and someone who's had success against this pitcher before, Matt Chapman. Batting over 400 against this starting pitcher in his career. Look for him to have some good at bats in this one. You know, sometimes you just see a certain pitcher better than others, and I think that's definitely the case. Austin Slater stands in. Really strong hitting performance recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. First pitch oh. misses. One out, base is empty. That one That's missing inside. inside. Oh, and they're going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. And a four-pitch walk. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now it's Wilmer Flores. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. Fought off foul. Man at first one away. And a foul ball. Swing and a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. To third. In there no, safely. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. This one popped up. He's under it. Brings it in. And there are two down. Michael Conforto will climb in. Fastball for a strike. Going away. And a strike on the outside edge. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. And it, well, that's a strikeout. And that'll do it for the unit. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And we're back. And on the mound in this one, Kyle Harrison. 
Yeah, I want to see how he handles left-handed hitters in this lineup today because coming in, lefties are batting over 300 on the year against him, so he's going to have to figure something out to get inside, keep them from getting their arms extended, and then once conscious of the inside pitch, be able to go with something away and finish them off. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, calls it in, and there's one away. Batting second. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, oh, now this ball is driven into the left center field gap. And he'll pull into second safely. The throw is wild, and it gets away. No advance, though. Ball didn't get too far away. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. One out, runner at second. Brian Reynolds here, entering this one second in the National League in hitting. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. One out, and a runner at second. Next pitch is outside. Boots it. swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Runners on the corners with one gone. Here's O'Neill Cruz. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power. Ground ball could be two. One at second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Matt Chapman. The line to kick the pitch. Rips that one center field and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Murphy now. Out towards left center. And he makes the catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Luis Matos, the next giant to hit. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Just one hit in his last five games. And the Get first the pitch misses for ball one. Chapman, the runner at first with one gone in the inning.
And a good eye there. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Right. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get oh. back into this at bat. And that's ball Take four. It. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. And here is Tyler Fitzgerald. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. One runs in. Relay throw to third. Tag out. Absolutely perfect execution of the relay right there to cut him down at third. And he probably should have shut it down at second base and been happy with the double, but it took a great play to get him. You just have to tip the cap. Estrada to the plate. And that clips the inside corner. Oh, one. That one fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in here in game one of this three-game set. Ground ball right side, and that chance handled to first, yep. and Estrada is out, and that is the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants two, and the Pirates nothing. We head to the bottom of the second, and now Connor Joe. On the wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left. Into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Jack Solinski no, that stands in now, looks at that one inside. Late right. with the swing there. That was a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific fight at the end. And a foul ball. The Pirates down by a pair, bottom half of inning number two. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. I don't know about you, Chris, but that felt like a weird at bat right there. Didn't get much to hit until the final pitch, and he still got the backwards K. Yeah, not a single pitch was actually inside the strike zone, but he was being very aggressive in the box and fell behind in the count. Then they finally do challenge him, and he couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. Kind of a strange strikeout for sure, Boog. Next to hit, Andy Rodriguez. First pitch doesn't find the zone. and fires just misses with that one caught a break right there pretty good pitch on the outside corner and that one is lifted in the air Matos calls it in two away Henry Davis the next pirate to hit Oh, 
Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing to miss. Do that fastball oh, right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Deal two. And Come ball up. one. One and two. And there's a ball. Two and two. That one oh, ran inside, almost got him. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And that one in the air center field. Matos sizes this one up. He's got it, and the inning is over. So one left for Pittsburgh. They trail things here, 2-0. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Austin Slater. Austin Slater. Gonzalez back to work. They say you win. Oh, and one. That's the corner. And a count is 0 and 2. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Here's the 0 2. That one uh -huh. just misses. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. That misses. Two, two. two and two. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter. And I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Flores, batting with one down, takes a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Line drive. Falls it in for the end. It's going to be fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Two outs, base is empty. Now a chance for Jorge Soler. And the first oh, pitch misses that. for ball one. Oh, and that's yeah. in for a strike. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty nope. frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Swing and a miss. One and one. 
Ripped on a line. McCutcheon flashes the leather on the running catch. So the Giants leave one as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Nick Gonzalez. And the pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Stairs. One ball, one strike. And now two and one. Stays alive. And a rope for the center field base hit. And that turns the lineup over. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there. Coming back in that at bat. So the lineup flips over. Keep Ryan Hayes, the next pirate to hit. Goal for one. Popped out foul to the catcher his first time off. Right through there for a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Right Swing field. and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. I went to a guy up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. The pitch. Wouldn't chase One, that time. A one two. Look out! That hit him. And that it hit him. He had him one two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Doubled his first time on. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Slides for the stop. Chap to second. On the first save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Next to hit, Brian Reynolds. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. Popped up. Estrada under this one. And there's two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable oh, that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And now it's going to be O'Neill Cruz. He hit it to a double play his first time up. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. Close pitch there. Wow. He's kind of wondering where it missed, you know. Getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think right. about and work on from game to game one and sometimes and from a bat to a bat. They're still down. It's two zip.
Back here in Pittsburgh, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Matt Chapman. And he deals. That's yeah. in there, and it's 0-1. One, one. one really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. Swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Murphy stands in now and watches strike one. Murphy, 33 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. Side edge. One, one and two. two to Cal. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Gets a piece and stays alive. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Now, I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. That's in ball. Murphy leads off first with one away. Bounced up the middle. Oh, great stop. On the Gonzalez for one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Throw oh, safe. Oh. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying. No home run so far. So trying to manufacture some. Oh, that ball finds its way into the outfield. A base hit. Play it home. Oh, he's safe. And they lead by three. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. There's the strike. Next pitch is outside. One and one. And now the lefty, runner takes off. He swings and fouls one off. Next two offering two. way upstairs. And they'll do it again. Ripped on a line to center. Sawinski makes the catch. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to Ballpark. Now it's the DH, Connor Joe. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Swing and a pop-up foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Now he check swing at the 1-1. Look down to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Murphy up with it to first. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. 
I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Sawinski in the box now. No balls and a strike. Sawinski checks his swing, appeal to third, and he won around. Rule the swing. The Giants leading by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two down. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And first offering is fouled off. Ball, Ball one there. Out towards right center field. Conforto drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that ends the inning. Trust that life online, I you want that. And we're back. Leading and off now, off Austin Hitcher. Slater. The left field. Austin. Austin Slater. As the lefty gets to work. That clips the corner. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And that one is lifted in the air, and it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wastes no time there. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. Yeah. Right? There's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Left field. Reynolds gets under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The right field. And here is Michael Conforto. And immediately ah. pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. No ball. One strike. Flores off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Another 0-2 no count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Pop up here, third base side. Cruz makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for San Francisco, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Here at PNC Park, now it's going to be Henry Davis. Harrison back to work. That clips the corner. You know, these Pirates just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. That one missed. And on the mound, you know confidence ball, has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. That one ripped. And it one hops the wall. Into second easily with a lead off the well, A swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Nick Gonzalez. And 
And there's a foul ball. Runner at second, nobody out. That misses. Oh. One and one. And Two another one. ball. This to center field. Machos moving under it. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second, but now he won't try for third. Stays put with one away. Now batting Keith Ryan Hayes. He's over one. Right through there for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and that ball smashed out of line. Out number two. So two down now, and here is Andrew McCutcheon, one for two. Now fly ball to right center. Conforto under it. Brings it in. And that will end the inning. Pirates leave one. Still down 3-0. Bring my phone at 3 in the morning. I'm in the zone. Back here in Pittsburgh. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. First pitch, and he just misses. All these Giants, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven That's line drives That's already, down. and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. And here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result no every time. Murphy one in the ball, box no here and lets that one go for a ball. Yeah. It catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. And ball, another ball. Outside. Finds the corner, and that is strike two. And it's second. Rip to third. And top. Oh, not in time. It's second to double him off. Great hustle to get back. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter, even though you know that they still drive you absolutely crazy. Matos lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Wouldn't chase that time. Two up. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Chapman over at second, one down. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got it. Two down. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's not bad. He's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down and have the high spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. And up next for San Francisco, Tyler Fitzgerald. That yeah. one's in there. Going one. Two outs. The shortstop takes the ball. One one. Next That's one ball. misses. Ball two. And a pitch. 
next offering popped in the air right field brings it in for the third out so they work around the lead off double part of the order three four five coming up it's the Giants three and the Pirates nothing bottom of the sixth inning at the plate for Pittsburgh Ryan Reynolds the line of the pitch now a screamer into the outfield. Matos puts it away for the out. And there's one down. There's the shortstop at the play. O'Neill Cruz. Right side. And foul ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two down. No Number two. Two outs, space is empty. Up next for the Pirates, Connor Joe. First That's pitch misses. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And there's a ball. Two down, nobody on. And it goes That's just foul. foul. The two on. Into center. Sizing this one up. And that's the third out. Seventh, we have a new pitcher on the mound, Martin Perez. Not having a lot of success against right-handed hitters. They've been hitting them around, so this next matchup might be tough for them. Estrada leading things off and takes a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh and two. Oh and two now. Just no, misses missed, the mark the outside the zone. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go oh. by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Good eye oh, right God. there. And that one hit to first. Rodriguez oh. takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Up next, up next, John. The left fielder, Here's the left fielder, Austin Slater. Perez, a former All-Star, 33 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Close no, one doesn't get the call. Ball one. And Two another ball. Out. Down, base is empty. Fought off foul. The count two and one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Two and two. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. 
The next pitch no, misses. Man. Full count three Down and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. That one drilled left field. And off the base of the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. So digging in, Wilmer Flores. Could be a big moment for him right here. He's sitting on 999 hits. One away from adding a comma to that total. Ball. That's down and in. This one smoked out to left. Snags it for the second. Out. Soler up at the plate. One for three. Fastball in for a strike. 0 and 1. Ball one oh. there. Runner at second, two down. Here in game one of this three game set. Good oh. eye in that spot. Outside, ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good ah. discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a three-run count. Cool. Got ah. him looking. Pass ball to Letters, throws it for strike three. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Giants three, and the Pirates nothing. Sawinski. The wind and the pitch. Just no, off the ball. outside edge. And that's ball one. one Signs out. of movement in the Giants bullpen. Luke Jackson getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Rogers, a left hander, also throwing. That one oh. misses. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. Matos makes the grab one down. Number five. So up next, Andy Rodriguez. Pitch. One and one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. The guy's going this good. He's retired one seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something two, to break it up. And another ball. The lefty fires. That one misses. Uh -huh. oh. Full count now. Full the count. Pirates trailing by three here at the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a pop up. Estrada makes the play. Two down. Now, now Henry, Henry Davis Davis digs in now. In the air to left center. Slater in pursuit. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. Back here at PNC Park, the batter will be Michael Conforto. Liner snagged it first. Got to say, PNC Park is as beautiful a stadium as you'll find in MLB. Great sidelines all over the park. And tough to beat the view of downtown Pittsburgh across the Allegheny River. We get some of the best sunset photos from this spot here in the broadcast booth. Chapman right. batting with one down takes a strike. 
Outside corner, there's a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Pitch oh, misses, and a count one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. That one ripped right center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Throw is high and over his head. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, it takes so many reps yeah, in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it. Perfect. One ball, one strike. Next offering way off the plate. Well, not only can Perez pitch, but he can also sing. Remember, he performed the That's national anthem good. for Team Venezuela leading up to the World Baseball Classic. One, two, you watch that video, you'll see how much that man is. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the second out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Next one off the plate inside, and it's two and one. And another ball. Runner at second, two down. Here in game one of this three-game set. So now two Bumble, on and two outs. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The yeah, game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for right there. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two on, two outs. And that's that outside. That's and one and one. Looked like oh. it was a little bit up. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. Around third. And he's in safely at third. A run comes in on the play. Comes through with the RBI. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline and that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Up the middle. Throws to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. for the bottom of the eighth and now Nick Gonzalez the Pirates in striking distance but have some work to do Boog it starts with the laid off man I need a good at bat out of him right here line drive and that should be extra bases around first heading for two in safely it's a double and his second hit seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock those always feel good that one is absolutely belted he won't get there that should be extra bases and he's got a double just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through. The field. Stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. With a low 90s fastball, you have to hold on the 
edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So Bob Melvin out of the dugout, and he's ready to make a move. Kyle Harrison won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Taylor Rogers. Now, well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. And fouled off. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That misses oh, the zone. Time. One ball, one strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And that one fouled off. Pirate to hit. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. You're a ball wood strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. And he swings over the top there. Oh, a little anxious, a little aggressive early in the count. Too much for me. Got him looking. Two gone now. And the batter now. Connor Joe. Found a ball here. Rolls foul. Two outs. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Oh, Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. What Next a offering is outside. Two outs, bases empty. Runs on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him way out in front of the slur. Cannonball coming. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Aroldis Chapman. He has a great slider with tons of movement. That's the ball. At the belt and fires. That yeah. one in triple digits. Cold night like tonight. One one. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the Let's end. Try to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you really try to catch things out front, so on speed pitches may be a good compliment to that fastball. Wouldn't chase that time. Ah. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And a strikeout for the first out here in the night. So digging in, Wilmer Flores. And that's oh. off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Chapman, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a two-seamer, and occasionally works in a splitter. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And another oh. ball. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Bounce to the left side. Cruz. Tosses across the first. Two up, two down. The bad Jorge. Next will be the Giants DH. Jorge Soler. He's been a great free agent side. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that is ball one. 
Breaking ball through there for a strike. Not one looking like we're adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. The lefty ready and a 1-1. Nope. And oh. that's downstairs and outside. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. That clips a corner. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Cruz drifts towards it. And a foul ball. Hard on the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It's the Giants four and the Pirates three. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Camilo Doval. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And you see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. One run game, bottom nine. Fall off foul. Right handed reliever. That's inside. No Got him swinging. I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had him completely written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited. It was out of fun. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. So up next, Andy Rodriguez. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Two now. That one ball way inside. Right. Inside almost got him. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. Let's see if he can strike out the side. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Swing right. and a miss. It's 0-1. 0-1. That one lifted to left. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like. But they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
Drive home safely.